Hi everyone, today I'll show you how to design an animate DJ drone offset UI in Figma. Let's get started. I have prepared a design system for the DJ drone offset UI design and all the images and also I have provided all the necessary resources in the video description for you to download and follow along. So let's dive into the design process. First I'll select the frame tool and pick this MacBook Pro 16 inch and I'll place it like here and I'll change this frame name to like this now i'll add layout guide to it so select the frame click on this layout guide and i'll make this columns count is 12 margin is 164 and the gutter is 30 like this and i'll change this color to like this for now and now i'll make this frame rounded so select the frame and i'll add corner radius to 30 pixel like this and now i'll add our background image so i already prepared this one so i just duplicate it and i'll place it to my design frame like this and i lock this one and i'll change this name to for example background and now select the bg and i'll add a overlay to it so click on this plus icon and i'll make this uh, full black like this i'll make this fill opacity 35 like this now i quickly change this layout guide color so i can see like this now I'll design the header section. So I've already picked up the logo. So I just duplicate it from my design system and I'll place it like here and I'll add top spacing of 50 pixel like this and I'll add a menu item. So I already picked up the text. For this menu item text, I use this font family Mona Sans. Font weight is semi bold, font size is 16 pixel and line height is 22 pixel like this. Now I quickly add some menu items here. So I've added the menu items. Now I select all of them and make them auto layout. I'll add space between is 40 pixel and make them center like this. Now I'll add fill color to it. So click on this plus icon and I'll add white color fill like this and I'll make this opacity to 20% like this. Now I'll make this uh, left and right padding is 28 pixel and top and bottom padding is 12 pixel like this. Now I'll add corner radius is 50 pixel like this and I'll add a stroke also. So click on this plus icon and I'll add a stroke of white color with 2 pixel width and I'll make this fill opacity is 30% like this and I'll add effect of background blur and I'll make 12 like this so our menu items design is ready now I'll place it like here and I'll make them center like this and I'll add top spacing of 50 pixel like this now I'll add some header icons to the right side so press O on the keyboard and draw a circle I'll make this width and height is 46 pixel and make this fill color to white like this and make this opacity to 20% and I'll add a stroke of white color with 30% opacity and I'll make the width is 2 like this and again I'll add effects background blur of 12 like this now I'll duplicate 3 times for 3 icons so now click on this icon and go to plugin and widget and search for this plugin called Phosphor icons click on it first i'll grab the search icon this one like this and then i will need user icon and one more icon i need is cart so search for cart icon like this or i think i can pick this bag icon uh, this one now i'll arrange them like this i'll grab the icon from it and remove this frame and i'll place it like here and i'll make the icon color is white and i'll make this icon width and height is make sure you enable this speed ratio icon and i'll make this width and height is 20 pixel and select the circle and the icon make them center and middle like this and make them group now i'll do the same thing for these other icons now select all of them and I'll make them in auto layout like this and make them center and I'll add a sp between is 16 pixel like this and I'll place it like here now I select all of them make them middle like this and I'll make them group like this now I'll add top spacing of 50 pixel and I'll lock this and I'll change this group name to header like this so our header section design is done now I'll add the big titles so I already prepared this one so first I'll add the sub headings and I'll quickly change this text 
and let me show you the subheading font properties for this subheading font family is monasan and font weight is medium font size is 28 pixel and line height is 32 pixel like this now i'll make them center like this i'll add top spacing of 120 pixel like this now i'll add the big titles so i already prepared this one also so i just duplicate it from my design system and i'll paste it to my design frame and i quickly change this text so i've added the text now i'll place it like here and let me show you the properties of this uh, big title for this big title i use this font family called anton and font weight is regular font size is 246 pixel and line height is auto and for this big title fill color i use this linear gradient with this following properties like this and also i make this make this text vertical trim is cap height to baseline like this make sure you enable this select the big title and the wedding text uh, select them and make them center like this and i'll add a space between is 60 pixel like this now i'll add the drone image so i already prepared this one also so i just duplicate it from my design system and i'll place it to my design frame like this now select the image and make the center middle like this now right click on this image and make them frame selection like this now select the image i'll make it up little bit like 40 pixel like this for now i'll lock this one and i'll change this frame name to drone like this now i'll add some feature items to this bottom side of this design frame press r on the keyboard and i'll draw a rectangle like this which is 208 pixel and the height is on 40 pixel like this and i'll make the corner radius is 16 pixel and fill color i'll make this white and opacity is 20 and a stroke i'll add white color of a stroke with 2 pixel width and opacity is 30 percent like this now i'll add effect background blur up 12 like this for this icon i quickly grab the icon from this plugin i search for camera i'll drag this icon and i'll remove the frame and i select the icon and make this icon width is 44 pixel and i'll change this color to white like this and i'll place it like here now i'll quickly add some text so let me grab this feature title text like this and i quickly add the text here like this now select the icon and the feature title and make them auto layout and make them center and i'll add a space between is 12 pixel like this now i select this two the rectangle and this auto layout and make them center like this and make them group now i'll duplicate this four times like this and also for this other and i'll duplicate another like this so i quickly change this other feature items icons and the content So I have added all the feature items, icons and contents and now I'll make them in auto layout. Select these two, make them auto layout and make them center and I'll add space between is 30 pixel. And again select these two, make them auto layout, make them center and I'll add gap is 30 pixel like this. Now I'll add a title and the button. So I already prepared this text so I just duplicate it from my design system and I'll quickly change this text. So I've added the text, now I'll add the button. So I duplicate it from my design system and I'll place it like here and I'll make them in auto load like this and I'll make them center and I'll add a space between is 20 pixel like this. Now I'll make them uh, center like this and I'll make it like this. And let me show the button properties. So for this button text font family is monasan, font weight is semi bold, font size is 18 pixel and line height is 22 pixel. And I make them in auto layout 
left and right padding is 28 pixel and top and bottom padding is 18 pixel and and make them center and the fill color is white like this and corner radius is 12 pixel like this so our dj drone website ui design is ready now i'll add animation to it so first i'll select the uh, drone image so i'll select this drone frame and i'll duplicate it and i'll place it like here and i'll make this frame in a component so click on this icon make them component and i'll add variant like this now select this second variant and click on this image make sure you select this image i'll make this image a little bit down with uh, 80 pixel like this now select the first frame and go to this prototype option and i'll link to this first variant to second variant like this and trigger is after delay delay is on millisecond and animation is smart animate curve is is in and out and duration is 1200 millisecond like this now i'll select the second variant and link to this first variant and trigger is same after delay delay is on millisecond and everything is same like this now i'll duplicate one of the component like this and place it to my design frame like this make sure you add this new drone image to this right frame so for example i will remove this one old drone frame like this and i'll replace with this new drone frame like this and i'll make it center like this now i can lock this one so i want animation to this big title and this feature items everything so i'll make this big title in a frame selection so right click on it and make them frame selection like this also for this one i'll make it right click on it and make them frame selection like this and for this title i want animation to it so right click on it and make them frame selection like this now i'll duplicate this frame before i duplicate this frame first make sure you unlock this one everything like this i one more thing i forgot to add is that select all the heading frames and make sure you enable this clip content option make sure you do that every frames like this and also for this one i'll enable this clip content like this now i can duplicate the frame and i'll place it like here and i'll change this frame name to one for example now i'll add the animation so i want animation to this header so i make the header is up like this and for this subheading i want animation so i just select the text and move it to down like this and for this big title i want animation this one also so i move it to down like this and also i make this opacity to zero like this and same for this subheading i forget to make the opacity zero so i do that like here and for the header also i'll make the opacity is zero and for this feature items i'll move it to down like this like this and i'll make the opacity is zero like this now i select this heading and i'll move it to down like this i'll make the opacity is zero like this for this button i'll make this opacity is also zero like this and for this drone image also i'll make the opacity is zero like this now select the frame and go to prototype option and i'll link to this second frame like this and make the trigger is after delay delay is 400 millisecond and duration is 1200 millisecond like this the dji drone website ui design and animation are now ready let's take a look at the preview the DJ drone website UI design and animation is now complete. I hope you enjoy my work. If you do, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you in the next video. Bye.